Hey there guys, it's Jesse and it's time for your Rift update. Turns out I had a lot of stuff to do yesterday and so I didn't really get to make a uh, Rift Day 3 video and uh, I'm just gonna combine 3 and 4 together and hope you guys forgive me. Turns out a lot of stuff went down in our climb to level 50. And for those wondering, yes, that is the cap and yes, some dude hit it already. So first big news is I decided to switch from DPS to tank spec. You can go back and forth and you can have like five or four different specs, it's awesome. I found tanking to be really fun, and it turns out I'm actually kind of a badass at it. I tank mobs left and right now, I tank them in Scarlet Gorge, I tank them in dungeons, I mean look at this. This is me tanking that super hard level 26 I made a video about, and just tanking it easy mode. Yeah boy! I'm really good at this actually. I've also tanked major rift events, and tanked for giant raids, who knew I could actually do this? Uh, you know. I'm not great, but I'm pretty good. I'm working on it, right? Also, my spec has like 10 freaking buffs. It's ridiculous. Next, since we left the stone fields, we discovered a bunch of little mini games and quests and stuff in there, and I'm gonna give you some right now. First, in the middle of the zone, if you play, you know exactly what I'm talking about, is the Titan's Well. Well, if you jump into it and swim to the bottom, there's a dude down there that if you kill will give you a quest, which is cool. But, if you swim to the bottom and then jump out, swim back down to the bottom, so on and so forth five times, you get an achievement. I know, that was sort of a strange discovery, but we got one, so lols. Also, while climbing in the mountains, Mike and I discovered a secret mound of dirt that is kind of like that mini game from the first zone. You loot it, and the first loot, you have a chance of getting some epic gear. Mike got a green, I got a blue, so again, he was kind of pissed. So, pretty neat, I'd say. Here it is on your map, you kind of have to do the old jumping up the mountain kind of thing from WoW to get to it, but uh, it's worth it when you do. On the PvP front, we did our first overworld PvP, and while I should have been focusing on combat, I was way too busy cracking up about how the battle was really similar to the Rift cinematic trailer, complete with the opening Rift in the background and everything. Uh, I am far too easily amused. Now for those of you who want to know about the Scarlet Gorge, it's pretty awesome. There's a quest line there that involves this syndicate group called the Golden Maw, and how they're sucking the souls of the average citizen miners and putting them into machines and making them their slaves. It's pretty neat. We also had an encounter with this town that is completely overrun by fire rifts, and the entire town is covered with imps and demons and all sorts of stuff. It was really cool as well. And then, the most epic battle in the world happened, and we managed to save the zone from being overrun by Earth Rips. It was epic. Basically, the Earth Invasion forces overran all these towns, destroyed all the ward stones, and there was one ward stone left at this one town, and everyone grouped there to defend it, and guys are coming like 40 at a time at us, and we're trying to fight them off, and it was crazy. And then, the boss comes, and it's this big spider dude, and guess what? Look who's tanking it. I like a pimp. We saved the day, it was awesome, I had a lot of fun, and I guess, if anything this week I learned that if anyone ever tells me again, if your friends jump off a bridge, are you gonna do it too? I can answer, yep. <laughs>